Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You may be surprised to see me, but my Lisa Eldridge package has just arrived, popped through my door, and I wanted to jump on while there's still some stock left of some of these lipsticks and share my thoughts with you on the new gloss, the new liners, and the new shade of lipstick, as well as showing you my existing Lisa Eldridge collection, because some of these shades are still in stock right now, and help you hopefully decide whether you love any of them, whether you need any of them, or if you already have something like them in your collection, and therefore it's a pass for you. For all the swatches and info, stay tuned. So here is my box from Lisa. I ordered one of the lip kits that includes the new gloss and liner formulas along with one of her new lipstick shades in the shade blush and then I also picked up an individual lipstick in the shade affair which is one of the shades that has now sadly sold out. I'm sorry about it. So inside here we've got the standard tissue paper. There's these super cute little stickers of lips and a little Lisa logo there which is super cute. And then this is the individual lipstick in Affair and then in here is this glorious pouch. It's so beautiful in real life. It's super shiny and it's really soft as well and this has all oh, and this contains the three products. So the lipstick, the lip liner. Oh, that's a little bit squished, but that's fine. Luckily, I'm not someone who likes to keep packaging or boxes. More tissue paper in there to pad it out. And so this is the inside of the bag. And you can see that gorgeous gold zip and that stunning pattern on there is just absolutely divine and then inside you have the liner that got a little bit squished in the package and the lipstick and the lip gloss in their packages so this is the lip kit that I chose in the shade velvet blush and then the individual lipstick I chose in the shade velvet affair so as most of you will know if you're familiar with Lisa's lipsticks she releases them like once or twice a year and once they're gone they are fully gone and they are not back for like at least six months or so. Uh, her velvets were her original formula and she's brought back some new shades as well as some of the old classic shades and then she has the added a gloss formula which is like a nourishing balm gloss hybrid with a fair amount of pigment in there as well and then she released liners but only in the kits so you can't buy individual lip liners only in the kits. The individual glosses have also all sold out now but you can get the glosses in the kits like this one that I chose. The actual kit that I chose in the shade blush is now sold out but the other lip kits with the same pouch and the same trio of products in different shades are still available so you can still get the ribbon kit, you can still get the myth kit, the muse or the beauty kits at the point at which I'm filming this anyway are still available. So I'm going to start off with the new products. Just look at the detail on this bag with that beautiful Lisa signature on there and the gorgeous flowers. I wonder if you can see the sparkle on that purple flower. It's just so pretty and soft and then inside it's that all black with that gorgeous gold zipper. So let's start off by showing you the new products. So the gloss and the liner are brand new formulas, brand new products. The gloss box is exactly the same as the lipstick box. So with the gold edging and the gold writing with the shade name and Lisa's signature on the side. And then here is the component with that gorgeous gold lid and that beautiful clear glass. So you can see how much you've got left and you can see the shade inside. Can't really notice any scent at all. So if you're sensitive to scent, it's not gonna be an issue. Yeah, I'm not getting a scent at all really from that. Wow, okay, I wasn't sure actually if you'd be able to wear this gloss by itself or whether you'd need liner to make it work and even a lipstick underneath. It's definitely got enough pigment for me uh, to wear on its own. I think that's beautiful. Oh, it's so rich, it's not sticky at all. Can you see how there's no like stick or cling 
between my top and bottom lips when I press them together. It's super smooth and it just feels very nourishing and balmy. I can totally feel like the hydration from this. Super comfortable, non-sticky. I really like the amount of pigment in these as well. I was a bit worried that they were going to be either like too pigmented or I was going to have to wear a liner or have to wear a lipstick underneath because I don't wear a lot of gloss and I hate using gloss on top of lipstick because it's like I'm weird and you know I don't want to get lipstick on the doe foot of the gloss and I don't really like that I just either want to wear a gloss or a lipstick and you can definitely wear certainly this shade anyway on its own which I think is really beautiful this is my slightly crumpled box that the liner came in the same exact style as the lipstick and the gloss component I can't say that I've ever found a liner beautiful before but this one is it has that color on the end so you can see which shade it is and that stunning cap I think this is so beautiful the cap is like metal and then oh I remember Lisa did say it was hard to get off the first time it wasn't that hard but it was it was on there and she advises you make sure that you really push it on so that it doesn't dry out okay so I'm going in with liner first wow it's so smooth gorgeous so smooth so creamy very very easy to get a nice line with but I will say that it has kind of wet like I have used a fair bit because it is so creamy that you just sort of draw a little line and you're probably going to need to sharpen it after maybe like three uses so I feel like we're going to go through these pencils really quickly and obviously you can't repurchase them as individuals so that's a bit of a shame so let's have a look at the liner with just the gloss Oh, I mean, that just goes so perfectly. Wow, they go beautifully together. It just gives you a bit of guidance and it gives you a bit of a more vibrant look to the lip. It's just kind of a bit more intense, a bit more defined, a bit crisper. Obviously, you could have coloured the whole lip in with the liner and given you an even more intense look, but I think this looks beautiful. So this is the lip liner and the gloss in the shade blush. Gorgeous. The feel of this gloss is so nice. It's really oh, just buttery, but not too thick either. And next, let's try the blush lipstick. Exactly the same packaging as the gloss formula, but it says lip color and then Lisa's signature on the other side. Then you have that magnetic closure that causes lots of issues if you want these to play nicely next to each other in a stand. They repel each other, which is my only drawback with these lipsticks. A minor one and there's that stunning famous Lisa texture of velvet on the outside of that lipstick just gorgeous just that like one swipe color it's just <sighs> and for such a like intense quite a rich shade it's so easy to apply and it'd be a nice crisp line it's so smooth I mean I didn't even need to apply to the bottom lip I could have just rubbed my lips together and you've got full opacity so there is the shade blush on the lips just a dream if you're familiar with her formula this is no different it feels just as glorious and creamy and rich as all of her other velvet mats it's just absolutely so comfortable and smooth glides on like a dream i'm just going to go around the edges with the liner just to make it nice and crisp
just so beautiful. This shade is like, it's perfect for autumn, but it's perfect for winter as well. It's absolutely beautiful. So as I said, I really don't love wearing gloss over lipstick because it hurts me to get lipstick on the wand, but for the purpose of showing you guys who I'm sure might want to do that, I'm gonna show you what the blush gloss looks like over the blush lipstick. Wow, that's just so pretty. You can see how well they pair together because it hasn't really altered the colour. It's just turned it glossy. So, you know, you've got, if you buy the kit or one of these kits, then you've got the options. You've got the, if you find a colour that you love, you can make it crisp with the liner, full opacity with the lipstick, or you can use the lipstick as a stain. You can just go in with the gloss if it's a little more of a easier going makeup day, or you can go the whole kit and have a really impactful glossy lip, which is beautiful. I mean, this is just... Oh, it's so comfortable with that gloss over the top. It instantly makes the lipstick just feel like it, there's nothing on your lips. It feels so light. So if you love her matte lipsticks, you love the colours, you love the application, but you're not a fan of a matte lipstick, which I know lots of people aren't, even though Lisa's formula is so amazing and beautiful. Lots of people don't like a matte lipstick. You could then go over the top with the matching gloss and you're going to have that exact shade, but in a glossier, more comfortable easier going shade. This is just gorgeous. Okay, now for the super annoying bit because I'm going to show you Velvet Affair, which obviously has sold out now, so I'm so sorry. Just this glorious caramel. I just cannot wait to get this on my lips. I didn't pick up Velvet Fawn, which was Lisa's like first nude shade because it looked a little light for my skin tone and my taste or preference for a nude lip. So when she came out with this one, I was praying when she dropped her new line that she was gonna have a deeper nude for me. And she just, she just came through. She heard me. She heard our prayers. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, I knew it was just gonna be perfect. This is exactly the shade I was hoping for from Lisa, just the perfect everyday nude. You know, you can literally wear this anywhere. You know, you could add a liner, make it a bit crisper. You could go over the top with a clear gloss. It's just absolutely perfect. I really hope Lisa comes out with some more nudes because, oh, she does them so well. And this is just like the perfect, again, autumn, winter, nude for me it's like just so beautiful and warm and it's just going to really go with like fall autumn winter eye looks just so beautiful okay so those are the shades that i picked up from this latest drop so i'm going to quickly show you the other shades that i have from lisa as almost all of these are currently available so you might be interested in picking these up even though they've been existing shades in her line so first up is velvet decade this is one that i absolutely love a deep brown but it can be worn much softer as well And then you can obviously blot or you can build this up. Obviously, this is a really messy application. This is one for me that I usually would wear with a liner. Because it is just that much richer shade. So at full opacity, it's much richer of a brown. Whereas if you apply it as a stain or just dab a little on, it looks much pinkier. But there you have Velvet Decade. Again, a perfect like autumn winter shade. Super vampy, but definitely can be worn as like a little dab and stain or blot and get a much more easier, less daunting lip color. Next up, Velvet Myth. And this is one that is currently available in a kit with a liner and a gloss as well. Oh, 
and that is my worst application yet. <laughs> Definitely one that could benefit from a liner and I'm actually gonna try the blush liner just to see if this can work to tidy this up. Yeah, I absolutely think this liner will work beautifully with Myth. So if you own that, then this will also work with that shade. A beautiful, berry, gorgeous shade. Berry Christmas. And now Velvet Jazz, one of her original red velvets, the deepest shade. And this is Velvet Jazz, just the perfect, deep, rich, vampy, power, boss lady red. It's just like nothing else I have in my collection. Just spectacular. And again, another horrendously messy application. I'm so sorry. The problem is, is I don't even know where my lips start and end at the moment. Mm. And last but not least of the shades currently available is one of my absolute all-time favourites, Muse. Again, this comes in a kit. Yes, so it has a kit with a liner, a gloss and the lipstick. Definitely another like everyday wearable shade, but this one is more of a mauve than a, a nude or a brown. Absolute favourite for me. I wear this one all the time. It's like a go-to kind of everyday shade, just beautiful, goes with every makeup, one of my favorites. And then I don't even know if to show you this one because I know some of you are gonna be like murderously wanting my blood after I do, but I feel like I have to show you Go Lightly. Sadly for lots of you, Lisa did not bring this absolute glorious shade back this time, but I know she is planning on bringing it back soon. I think she said in the spring, I say soon, it's not that soon, I know, not soon enough. Uh, so yeah, this one will be appearing soonish, but she did bring a Go Lightly gloss that has now sold out. So you cannot get the shade at all at the moment. One of my all time favorite lipsticks. I just find it super unique and flattering. It's one that I feel like I can wear it now, I can wear it in the summer and I just love it. It's just so pretty and unique, but sadly not currently available. But all of the other ones I showed you are, so you know, you let me off that one. Those are my thoughts on my new purchases from Lisa Eldridge's latest collection. Velvet Affair is just everything I was hoping it would be and more. I'm so sorry if you didn't manage to pick this one up and it is now sold out. I don't think we're gonna get a restock anytime soon, certainly not this year. You know, Lisa does kind of maybe twice yearly restocks or re-releases of new shades. So yeah, I'm really, really sorry if you really wanted this shade, but I'm, it's gonna be on my lips for the next decade so I'm sorry about that. Velvet Blush is also just a glorious shade, super beautiful and the gloss, I absolutely love it. I think she knocked it out of the park. It's such a smooth, comfortable and just like luscious looking lip. I think it's really flattering of a gloss. It's not gonna settle in your lines and it's easy to apply smoothly without it kind of going all over the place where you don't want it to. It's got just enough pigment. It kind of tones down if you've got super pigmented lips, but it gives you enough pigment if you if you don't have pigmented lips and you or you have, you know, a shade like my lips are super red. So I kind of like to tone them down if I'm having a low makeup day. So this will be perfect for that. And it's also gonna be perfect for adding a gloss on top of the corresponding lipstick because it's not gonna really change the shade. It's just gonna give you a glossy version of the matte you put it on top of. Her liner, I mean, it's a liner. I, I can't get that excited about lip liners, but it is like the best one I've ever tried. The The packaging is glorious. I can't think of a formula I prefer it to. It reminds me of maybe the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners, very similar, 
very, very creamy, very, very smooth. It, you will go through it quite quickly because it is so creamy. So that's something to note that we're not gonna be able to repurchase these for some while because they were only available in the kits to begin with. So you can't repurchase just one liner at the moment. But yeah, I mean, I don't think you'll ever be disappointed with anything that you pick up from Lisa Eldridge. She just knocks it out of the park and she does not do duds. And everything here is super, beautiful you can choose at the moment curate your own kit so you can choose a pouch not the pattern one that i have but a plain pouch and then three lipsticks of your choice to make a set and then you get the pouch for free which is a really nice deal that you can choose your own three favorite shades i highly recommend these lipsticks they are among my favorites and as you can see i've definitely built up a collection that you could say i i love lisa and i love her lipsticks <laughs> And now we can add a gloss and a liner to that as well. I know people were wondering why I didn't pick up more glosses, but I feel like several of these shades were fairly similar when you actually see them on the lips, but I didn't feel like I needed a load of different shades of the gloss. I'm just happy to use this one. I don't use gloss a huge amount of the time, but I could see myself really reaching for this one as like a balmy with some color every day, quick running out the door. I can totally see me picking this one up because it's so nice on the lips and hydrating and it's just the right hint of color. So yeah, I didn't feel like I needed a load of different shades of it. And yeah, I have a lot of her lipstick existing shades already. And these were the ones that just really stood out to me as me needing a nude from Lisa. I needed it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye.